aquí. Encontré a uno. Cuidado, no quieres golpearlo. Yo sé lo que hago. Maldita, parece estar congelado. So tired. Just let me get some sleep first. Then we'll go. Aparenta estar bobo. Tenemos que llevarlo al campamento. ¡Rápido! Ay, pobrecito. Tal vez pueda remedarte. Ah, eres muy pesadito. Diablos es su problema. Relax, Mr. McRidley. You're safe now. Stay away from me, you bastards. You just stay the hell away from me. Hey, take it easy, buddy. Ah! Oh! Mr. McRidley, wait. You wait. Socorro, el americano se ha vuelto loco. Grass? Oh, no. Oh, please, God, no. All right, hands on your heads and stand up. Slowly, Mr. McRitty. These men are pretty keyed up by your antics. Any sudden moves? I get the picture, lady. Where the hell am I? First of all, mister, we're getting all of your lacerations looked at, and then you will tell me. Wrong, lady. Nobody touches me. Is that clear? I'll do whatever you say. Only don't try to touch me. This is ridiculous. You need medical attention. I don't care how many guns you have on me. Anybody tries to touch me, I'll kill him or die trying. I mean it. All right, but let's get inside. You must be freezing in that hospital gown. Formerly a military base about 15 miles south of Bahia Tigetes on the Tierra del Fuego Peninsula. When we found you, you had severe frostbite. We had to bring you here to a more temperate area, or you would have died. So you were down at Campo del Sur? Yes, well, you needed a doctor to accompany you, so I, I volunteered. Then you know all about that, that thing. You knew the risk of infection, and you still came here? I was informed about the alien, but I was told it went down with the United States submarine. It's dead, and word alive, this outpost is miles from anywhere. We could keep the infection in check. Besides, We've all tested negative for infection. You really should let me help you with that, Mr. McReady. First of all, that thing isn't dead. I know it. And secondly, you can't control the infection. Thirdly, why the hell are you so anxious to touch me? Yes, doctor. You should be more careful. Oh, shut up, Acapito. No, Dr. Viale. He's got a point. How do you know I'm not infected? This is madness, and I won't argue with madness. Agapito, come with me a moment, please. Yes, Dr. Viale. I want you to keep a guard by this door around the clock. He needs plenty of rest, or that frostbite could become gangrenous. Do not worry, Dr. Viale. I shall see to it that he sleeps well. So this infection takes seconds to communicate and results in an entire new organism? This is what I was told. I saw none of this. But I dig, Dr. Erton. I saw a man burst open and a monster spring out. It is the truth. I still think your test for infection has to be faulty. Any virus that versatile, that smart, is sure to adapt quickly. You don't understand. Each cell is a separate organism. Once the blood is removed from the body, it's no longer linked to an organizing intelligence. Therefore, it will not obey the wishes of that intelligence to deceive. No? It must do what it can to survive. In the case of this test, it leaps away from the hot flame. If you say so, Dr. Stang, but I remain unconvinced. Hey, when can I talk to McCready? It'd be nice to hear English spoken without an accent, for a change. Well, he is still quite paranoid. I would like to work with him alone for a couple of days. Gain his trust. Hmm. <laughs> work with him alone, indeed. What? We've all noticed how you fawn over your patient, Doctor. One would think you hadn't seen a man in months. Just what are you implying, Deciado? 
Doctor Desiado, I demand you make an apology to Dr. Viale this instant. Careful, Sergeant. You don't want to get another bruise, do you? Little man, I will show you what bruising means. Oh, please, Agapito. Is he really worth it? No. You are right, Doctor. Anyway, I must go to relieve the guard on Macready's room. Damn, Sabia. I would have enjoyed watching Agapito pummel the worm. Why'd you stop him? Do not worry, Mark. Next time, I won't. Now that the floor show is over, I have a question. Is anyone besides me sick of mutton? How long has he been at that window? For hours, Sergeant. He just keeps watching the sheep. I think he makes them nervous because they are so noisy now. All right, McCready. The Corbialia says you must sleep. And sleep you will, if I had to knock you unconscious myself. Maldita sea! He tries to escape again, but he will not get far. Ah! Oh, crying out loud, Desiato. Do you have to smoke right after dinner? If it makes you uncomfortable, you can go outside. Where is that coming from? I can't be sure, but it sounds like the livestock pen. Hurry, get some gasoline. We've got to burn them all. Good lord, the man's gone nuts. No, you can't just kill him. But Doctor, he's killing all of our livestock. We must do something. Oh no. Do not cry for the American, Doctor. Agapito, how could you? It was easy. We tranquilize your darts, the same ones we use on the ship. McCready will sleep tonight, as promised. Quick thinking, Pito. That's enough, Corporal. Simply because we are an informal unit does not mean you may forget the chain of command. Now get the cook and see if any of this meat can be salvaged. Yes, sir! And stop saluting me. Careful, don't touch his skin. Soon. He's going to be okay, right, Sabia? He will recover from the tranquilizer, but mentally, he seems to be deteriorating. I'd say that's an understatement, Doctor. We have about ten dead sheep out back that suggest he's off his rocker. Oh, well. Looks like mutton every night for quite a while. Poor Carla. You had so much milk to still give us. Now, it can only be the grill for you. Ah, Josito. You come out to say hello to Pablo. But the others, they are still afraid. Why are you not afraid, good one? Conyo! Oh, crap, not again! This time, we use restraints. I think it will take more than that, Sergeant. You should go inside, Doctor. The hand, aim for the head. Sergeant, forget the guns. You were saying, Corporal? No, don't go near it. Shoot it. Kill the damn thing. Get it. And shoot them both, you imbecile. Sergeant, you must listen to me. What are you screaming, my lad? If you keep shooting, it will continue to divide. Fire is the only way to kill it. The only way. All right. Get the gasoline from the garage. I will provide the fire. We must move quickly, Sergeant. And you have better stand back. Let's just thank God that it's all over. Over? It's not over. What are you talking about? That thing is well done. It can't get any deader. Think about it, Merc. Those sheep were down in the Antarctic. One of the crew that came up with McGrady must have been infected. And now any of us could be one of those things. A long sleepless night passes slowly at the Tierra del Fuego Environmental Research Station. 
But it isn't insomnia that plagues this group, it is fear. Fear of each other because one of their number, one or more, is not what he or she appears to be. Not, in fact, even human. This is ridiculous! We know the testing procedure! I'll just draw blood from each of you and we can get started. Uh Uh-uh, Sabia. No one, but no one, is touching my arm. Not even you. Then I'll hand out needles or scapos to all of you. You can all test yourselves. No offense, Doctor, but as I understand it, only one cell of this creature is enough to infect an entire organism. Therefore, handing out needles or scalpels with a microscopic bit of your tissue on them would be an ideal way to infect a lot of us, no? That is, if you were infected. Do not worry, Dr. Biale. I know that you are no monster. I can tell. Yes, well, I think we need to act quickly. For instance, why have we not radioed for help? And expose our rescuers to infection? Even I know better than to suggest such a stupid thing. You'd have to be an idiot to even think that. An idiot or... or... Oh, now, you don't mean to to suggest that simply because I thought we could use help that I'm... That I'm... uh... Where were you last night? You were nowhere to be found during all the shooting. I did not see you until it was all over. That's right. You disappeared as soon as we heard MacReady's shots. I see nothing sinister about my aversion to gunfire. Rather, it is quite intelligent. Stop it. I do not particularly like Dr. Desiado either. But we cannot make such a judgment. I think it best if we all retire to our quarters. No, that's okay. I can stay. I also will stay out here in the open. I have nothing to hide. Hold it! Where are you screwing off to, Doctor? If you must know, I must attend to certain needs. You seem like the type who would urinate in public, but I am not. I am sick of your jokes, Doctor. Do you hear me? Sick, sick, sick. Acapito, put that rifle down. What are you trying to do? Kill him? Uh, I am sorry, Doctor Biale. Thank you, Sabia. I'm glad to see someone has control over this Neanderthal. But it is hardly surprising since this pathetic monkey has dreamt about you every night since you arrived. Enough! Aha, sorry. If you really believe that I'm a monster, would it be wise to strike me (laughs) barehanded? I can see how these ridiculous suspicions of yours might have their advantages. (laughs) Can it be that I have outsmarted you, Doctor? Is that possible? You... you savage! Don't laugh at me, you ape! Dios mío! Do not bother, Doctor. I saw the gun in his hand, and he was yelling at you. I thought he... I I mean, it looked like... So... So I... Oh my God, what have I done? It's all right, Private. You responded as you should have. I'll say so in my report. But how am I to explain my conduct? Cruz... I want you and Escobar to bury the doctor. Not too deeply after we've sorted this all out. We will ship his remains home. We will take care of it, Sergeant. I will bury him. But someone else will have to dig him up. Dead. Good lord! The only guy doped up enough to get any sleep around here and look at him! Might as well... kill yourselves now. Cause you... you're already dead. You know, he's beginning to make sense to me. Perhaps this is because we are all going a little mad. A terrible thing has happened here, and I'm going to make sure it does not happen again. All of us will be confined to our individual quarters for the next eight hours. This should make each of us feel more at ease. Give us all a chance to get so much needed sleep. Two teams of my men will patrol the compound. 
They will be instructed to detain anyone leaving his or her room, including myself. So please stay in your quarters. We don't need any more problems. And don't think I haven't considered deserting, because I have. Hey, who's that? He looks like Carlos. But why is he out? And why the sheet? Probably trying to scare us. Come on. Fun's over, Carlos. Now get back to your bunker or we'll report you to Agatito. Oh, good God! In a few hours, the curfew is lifted. Doesn't seem like eight hours, does it? That's strange. Agapito is not in the mess hall, and he doesn't answer his door. Uh, you haven't checked the john, have you? Wait, I hear something. Go ahead, listen. You're right. Someone's in there, and he sounds gagged. What the hell? I am almost sure it was McCready again. I could not see it in the dark. One thing is certain, he has taken the flame trailer. Sergeant, Sergeant! Yes, Corporal, what is it? It's the communication shack, Sergeant. Damn him! Damn that madman! Two of the watch guards, Fuente and Soto, are missing as well. We've searched everywhere. McCready's not in the compound. He could be out in the forest by now, miles from here. He could be. But let's check the airfield. I did not know there was an airfield here. Hasn't been used in years, not since this was a military base. Sergeant. I hear it. Try to take him alive, but I am telling you now. If he so much as a sneeze, kill him. Freeze, my greedy! Oh, shit! <laughs> McCready in the flamethrower. I will never kill that thing. And if McCready is that thing... No, they haven't got me. Not yet. Look! He writes, that's a new one. Mr. McCready! Are you all right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Fine. Never better. Just the same. You should come back. In a minute, Doc. I still got some monster frying to do. Sergeant, why didn't you stop McCready and get the flamethrower back? Time enough for that when the American returns. If he returns. Crap. I can't see a thing. It's like night in this forest. Huh? Damn it. I'll never catch that thing in this maze. Whoa. Well, Colonel Sim, does this convince you? Nah, I will go to. It can't be, but it is. Childs. Man, it's a good thing you showed up. That thing almost got away. Yeah, almost. Say, Childs, aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? No introduction needed, Mac. I've told them all about you. Look at this. My thumb's beginning to turn into one big scar. I figure the Argentines at Campo del Sur told you where to find me, so that's no mystery. But how in hell did you survive that submarine wreck? You survived, didn't you? Fact is, these Navy boys came in a hurry to investigate the wreck and found me. Mr. Childs, I appreciate the necessity of these tests, but must we have guns in our faces the whole time? She's not very cooperative, is she? None of them are. Well, this is it. Good luck, Mac. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. Everybody back off. I'm going to torch it. Wait, there must be some kind of mistake. There ain't no mistake, lady. But I've talked to this man. He cannot be a monster. Wait a minute. Cruz, weren't you the one who buried Dr. Deseado? Just, just it was Cruz! My God, it must be true. He is a monster. Look. Stop 
that, you idiot? Outside! Get outside and burn that thing! Hey, it's all burned away. He must be dead. Oh man, look it! Don't just stare. Let's roast it up. You see? This proves that Mr. McCready is not infected. They've attacked each other before. If the test says Max infected, he's... Oh no! What? What is it? Where in the hell is Mac? Damn! 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 Mr. Childs, if you would just listen to me for a moment... Shut up! Just shut your mouth, lady. I've had enough of your crap, okay? Commander? I know. One of the creatures got away. I'm organizing the search and destroy team. You just get on with those blood tests. I can't be. I just can't. I'm still me. I'm still me. I would know if I weren't me. I would know. Gotta, gotta start moving. They'll be after me. Plenty of them. If I could find their transport, I'd be okay. They probably flew in from a carrier. Yeah, like I could find it out here. Fact is, long as I'm on the ground, those boys will find me. Okay, you're clean. Of course I am. I don't get it. If we're all human, why are you confining us to quarters? It will be much easier to protect you this way. We'll know where you are. Then at least give us back our rifles, our guns. Guns won't protect you against that creature. All right, give me one of those. We haven't got any spares. Just relax. You're safe now. All right, you. You're next. I do not feel safe. Well, I can't blame you for that. But, would you rather be out there? Trust me, you're as safe as you can be. Huh? Yeah! Holy Mary! It tries to escape! Burn it! Huh? Everybody out! Come on, let's move it! No, Mr. Childs. I'd feel a lot safer if you would stop burning down our camp. In the forest, Commander Sim and his men seek out McCready. I know it's getting dark, man. But last time I checked, those F-14s were equipped with infrared tracking. That's why they cost so damn much, right? Off the coast of Tierra del Fuego, on the USS Buffalo. Besides, I didn't ask you to send any out. I just want you all to be on alert. Is that clear? Over. Yes, Commander. Crystal clear. Over. All right then, Ensign. Advise the captain as to our situation. Over and out. Okay, Burby. Go take your position. Yes, sir. Hey, Stan. If this guy McCready can turn anything into a monster just by touching it, maybe one of these trees is infected. I don't think plants can be infected. Why not? I mean, plants are alive, right? Oh, sure. They're alive. But if they could be infected, don't you think the whole forest would have swallowed us up by now? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Now shut up and keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> we sure outsmarted those goons, didn't we? You're pretty tame, aren't you? Sorry I didn't bring any food. I was in a bit of a rush. No! 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 I'm still me. I know I am. And I'm going to prove it. There was something wrong with Child's test. The ashtray might have been infected by Deseado. All it would take is one cell of flesh, from a cigarette maybe, but I'm the only one up in this tree. This imprisonment is outrageous. The American asked us to trust them, yet they are leery of us. Why else would they confiscate our weapons? No, I do not trust them, and obviously they cannot trust me. Dr. Sabia Viali is unwilling to accept that this enigma of a man, McCready, is no more. The evidence tells her so, yet she does not want to believe it. One more human being possessed, transformed into a monster by the alien virus. The thought is enough to injure any person's soul, but this soul is wounded even deeper. 
It's silly, of course. She barely knows the man. Couldn't tell you his first name. Yet she wants so much for him to return to the camp. To return. And to be human. Dr. Viale, please open the window. What are you doing out there? The Americans will... To hell with the Americans. I do not like this business of locking us all up. But Agapito, you did the same thing last night. That was when we could not tell who was a demon or who was a human. Now that we have all tested negative, why don't they simply fly us out of here? Perhaps we are to undergo another test. Extreme caution must be exercised in this matter. If the Americans transported an infected person into the general population, oh, think of the consequences. You are being too logical, I'll tell you. Something strange is going on here, and I intend to find out what it is. Oh, stop your chest thumping. What do you plan to do? Take on all the armed Americans with that? Do you laugh at me? You think I'm a big, dumb buffon? Is that it? Agapito, I'm... I should not have expected any more from you. So be it. Laugh all you wish, doctor. Laugh while you still can. Agapito, wait. Damn it. Why did I say that? He's always been so nice to me, and I had to behave like the others always have. Had I been nicer, a little more understanding, I might have talked him out of this foolishness. I'll never forgive myself if he gets hurt. Minutes later. No sign of him, but he was just ahead of me. Psst. Doctor. Agapito, I'm sorry I said that. I think the strength is getting to me. Oh, Dr. Viali should be screaming right now. She knows she should. No, no. It's okay. I'm still human. Just like... You were going to stay just like me, correct? Only you're not sure I am still human. I guess we're at a standoff. Not quite. I saw your blood jump like a thing alive, remember? Maybe the ashtray was infected. I don't know. But I just conducted my own test, and I'm negative. I would like to believe you, but... You're right. I'll show you. But after this, I want some food. Leaking all this blood is making me faint. Don't worry. You won't have to leak any more. Childs, am I glad to see you. Really? I wouldn't be if I were you. No, you don't understand. I'm human. The blood sample you took from me must have got infected in the ashtray somehow. I know. You... No? Of course, Matt. I infected it. stretch into eternal minutes. He could have killed us long ago. I think he's just toying with us. Fine. You think. I'll run. Not very far, you will. Says you. Torch the bastards, you idiots. Commander, look. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Torch the bastards. Ramon, Ramon. Huh? Sergeant, that you? Shh. Keep it down. We are outnumbered. Outnumbered? That man, Childs. He's one of those things I saw. It. But he was the one who wanted us tested. All the rules. I tell you, he and his men are infected. So what do we do? They have the weapons. We fight, Ramon. Somehow we shall find a way to defeat them. And if we fail, at least we die men, not monsters. All right, Sergeant. You can count on me. Huh? You can always count on me. Fortunately, Agapito doesn't have time to think. No, 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 no! Ah! For only an unthinkable act can save him. Jeez, Agapito. What a boneheaded move. Oh, I don't know about that. My guess is he succeeded in stopping the infection from spreading up his arm. Not that it will do him any good. Uh, all of you, you're all monster. All of you, all of you. Should we bother pursuing him? It will waste time, and there is much to do. 
Let him die a man. Hell, that was Charles, wasn't it? No, just a monster using his body. Damn, I left a lot of men with this freak. To think, he was in charge of the blood test. What about your blood test? Didn't it? Hold on, let me explain before you fry me. Child said he infected my blood sample, so I figured that when he took my blood, he stuck his finger into it. Well, how did he pass his own blood test? My guess is, you used the same dish test, and he was holding the dish. Yeah, that's right. He probably remained in contact with the blood sample, keeping the cells in the dish under his control. Of course, that invalidates the whole test. Looks to me like we gotta find a new test to help us with the men from the Martians. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to kill everyone back at the compound and pray that God can tell them apart. Forgive me, but wouldn't reinforcements be advisable? Ma'am, this is a quarantine zone. Nobody comes in. Worst comes to, hey, who the hell is that? I think it's Dr. Stang. Stop in your tracks, mister, or you're gonna get roasted. Come on, doctor. I think we'd better take cover. Take cover? Trust me, I got a real bad feeling about this. All right, man, burn that son of a bitch. Oh God, my ears. They'll be ringing like that for hours. What happened exactly? Dynamite, Stang, or what used to be Stang, was probably loaded with the stuff. It knew Sim would torch it if it rushed us. A suicide mission? Yeah, like what that child's thing did. Trying to delay or stop Sim and his men. Skip the compound. We'd better find the Navy's transport and fly ourselves out of here. Not until I've seen to these men. The Hippocratic Oath is a little obsolete now, Doc. Besides, nothing could have lived through that. Not for long. Sim! To Buffalo! The sun cannot rise fast enough for McCready. It's a false hope that the dawn offers, he knows. But it's better than no hope at all. Go back to the compound if you want, but don't try and drag me with you. All the evidence suggests everyone there is infected, so who can we save? Sim's copters shouldn't be too far from the hangar. We'll use that as a starting point. So we run away from this? Is that it? Look, Dr. Viale, there's a flat top off the coast waiting for Sim to report. I'm willing to bet that they're better equipped to deal with this situation than we are. But if we can't... Is that gasoline I smell? Fuel of some kind, I'm sure. After all, this is an airplane hangar. Perhaps, but I've never smelled it so strong before. Good God. I give up. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. You can't mean that. What the hell can we do? We fight. We fight and we win. Agapito, what happened to your arm? Let me take a look at it. There will be time for that later if we survive. I am afraid I will need your help to finish around in the hangar with gasoline. Maybe you should let the doctor look at you. You're obviously delirious. You laugh off my determination as insanity. But to what do you attribute your cowardice? Cowardice? Hey, think what you want. You just got no idea what I've been through. No, I do not. And you have no idea what I have been through. I lost my arm to those things in there. Perhaps even my life. But I will not surrender my world or my humanity so easily. Bah! Get away from here. It makes me sick to look at you. Forget him, Doctor. There are more cans of gasoline behind the hangar. Could you bring me another? And if you don't mind, grab one yourself. Give me that. Wait, what are you doing? Doctor, please. I'm sorry, but like it or not, I am taking a look at that arm. Time enough for that later, Doctor. If we survive. Soon. Kind of funny that they haven't posted any guards. I suppose they need all their mind power for building that vessel. Besides, they have every reason to think we are all dead or dying. I think we are all finished now. Do you really think this will do any good? I mean, the hangar is mostly aluminum. The frame is wood. The building won't burn to the ground. But it should get pretty hot inside. That is all we will need. Need? Yeah, there is a 1,000 gallon tanker of airplane fuel in there. 1,000? Then let's move it! Another one of those.
blows and I'll be deaf for life. Hey, am I crazy? Or is the ground still shaking? You are definitely not crazy. Looks like your plan didn't quite take hold. Gotta try to get back to the compound. Maybe there are still weapons there. Agapito will never be able to make it like this. We'll split up. I head back to the compound, and you two take off that way. Not much of a plan, but worth a shot. Good luck. I'll need it, sister. Almost there. <laughs> ah, crap. I just can't get over it. A napalm strike? What is this? Apocalypse now? Apparently, that's what Sim asked for. And the captain okayed it. Take it up with him if it bothers you. Holy jumping Moses! What the frig is that? My guess is, that's our target. All right, you finally got me. No explosives up my sleeve, no gun, not even a pack of matches. So what the hell are you waiting for? Kill me, you fucker! Kill me! What do you know? The cavalry's taken up slide. I just hope they're packing something stronger than a Gatling gun. That's it, right, Mr. McReady? It's all over now, isn't it? Isn't it? It's gonna be a while before the Navy lands any men to check this situation out, so you'll have some time. Time for what? To take care of Agapito's arm.